Right, uh, so I want you to take a note of that tree, just there behind me, okay? Uh, no reason. Uh, but yeah, today is day 54 of my New Year's tree planting thing, so uh, let's get on with it. Right, before I tell you what today's planting is, I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, and it relates to the explorer David Livingstone. I won't go into the details of, of his life now, because he's not a non-controversial figure, and there is a, there is a lot to say, uh, both good and more complicated, um, about his legacy. But what I will say about it, when he died, uh, two of his followers uh, followed his wishes and removed his heart from his body which was to be sent back to the UK. And when his body was sent back to the UK, his heart was buried um, close to Lake Bangweolu under an Ampundu tree. Uh, and an Ampundu tree is a very culturally significant tree in, in, in a lot of Zambia. So, so it, is, it is one of the trees that even if an area is cleared for farming or cut, uh, cut down for charcoal and firewood, very, usually, very often the Ampundu trees will be left standing. Um, and I think it's very indicative of the colonial mindset that a few years later the British government sent someone out to cut down the tree and replace it with a concrete memorial um, which is still there unlike the tree but the tree could have still been there uh, the trees are really useful as an indicator of the height that a woodland used to get to because they are, are very often not cut down so you'll you'll find areas of Zambia where people will talk about oh no wood, woodland stunting and so forth and the woodland will be stunted but you can see that it's a recent thing because the impundus that are old will be about twice the height of where other trees are canopying out and it's just the soil has been weakened through mismanagement uh, which is often a very e interesting thing to be able to, to see about an area and then you can see about restoration you can see about the potential of an area beyond that but that is what today's tree is that is Paranari curatelifolia the impundu or mobola plum um, now this one had seeded in, in quite deep shade and a thicket underneath a mango tree uh, it doesn't need deep shade in the long run this this can be a canopy tree it can be a sub canopy tree um, it gets to about 24 meters as a maximum in its usual habitat. Uh, generally speaking, it's going to be a little bit smaller. So the one in the background at the, at the introduction is about, probably about 10 meters tall, maybe a little bit less. Um, but to account for the fact that this will sunburn very easily at this point, because it's just come out of deep shade, I am putting it in its own very small thicket. So as it establishes, it can, it can do that in a shaded sheltered spot and then push out through that once it's big enough and strong enough to do that. So we've got a Dracaena fragrance going in that's a very low head that should shade the ground right around it and shade it directly. We're putting in three uh, aloe arborescens again like we did for the sausage tree when we first put that in. I'm putting in some Kalanko fetching koi to reduce access by chickens who could kick it up and by the pouch traps who could dig it up to eat the seed that is still attached to the seedling. Um, and I'm putting in three Dracaena Reflexa, which should stay small, but should form a nice, slightly higher thicket at this point than the much lower head currently of the Dracaena Fragrance, which will eventually get larger, but all of those will probably eventually come out because this tree will get to about a meter across once it's about 80 years old. So around it, I'm putting three other volunteers that had popped up in thickets. So these are all palms. There's definitely one Phoenix Reclinata. I think the other two are both Cyagris and Ranzafiana, the Brazilian Queen Palm, but I'm not sure. And they're going in with a standard uh, sort of triple combination of shade plant, physical barrier and chemical barrier of Dracaena Fragrance, Aloe Cameroni, and Calanco Fetching Koi. Right, so that should be it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. I do not currently have a plan for tomorrow, but uh, we will see what we do then. <laughs>